Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, and I'm back with more reactions with an X, doing some more what if, and actually on time, a little ahead of schedule today, because I had a weird sleep schedule. But you don't want to hear about that, you want to hear about the Marvel what if. And I've tried to stay away from all of the trailers and stuff, because the more I watch that, I feel like the more the episode is ruined, and I, I just want these to be a total surprise in a lot of cases, at least as much of a surprise as you can get. Uh, I know we're on episode 7, and I know it has something to do with uh, what if Thor were an only child. I think titles are okay, even though in what ifs those are pretty, I guess not spoilery, because the whole point of a what if is to give, right, a situation and then change one aspect. So you kind of got to know the situation to fully understand and appreciate the change i guess I, I, maybe you don't need to you can just enjoy it all by itself but that is where you get the full scope of what it is with that said i don't want to harp too long on it if you guys want to chat with me about what if you can always hit us up down in the comments below or check out the discord also link down below i am uh as always doing a special episode of this for my patrons so thank you guys so much you guys get this uncut full video full audio over on the patreon channel there will be a link and you also get it a little bit early just like in the morning and then this comes out on you youtube at night so yeah a uh, big shout out to everyone who watches on youtube i really appreciate you guys i'm enjoying this series i did say like last episode was probably my least favorite episode so far so i'm a little skeptical coming back in i'm like man is it gonna be good is it gonna be bad is it gonna be mediocre we'll see so we're just gonna have to check it out Remember to support the original content creator over on Disney Plus. I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can check this out. And Marvel has been doing a pretty good job with their TV shows, so hats off to them. Hopefully we'll see some more great stuff. And I'm pretty sure this has already pretty much been approved for a second season, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and get into it, though. So here's the thing. If Thor is an only child, that means that he, there was no Hela either. So it's just Thor. This is going to be interesting, no doubt. To party! <laughs> Called it. I don't know why, it's just the, the epicness and where they were. It's relation, Prince. I expect you to study, read up on the nine realms that you will one day rule. Of course, mother. No parties. Of course, mother. Remember, Heimdall will be watching. <laughs> Wait, is this one going to be I funny after the last one? Because they've been on some, like, somewhat darker ones. So maybe they're doing this one as another feel-good one. Him? Oh, wow, he's invited a bunch of aliens. That's who's arriving. I see the scrolls he was talking. Look at the pink light. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. I'm going. How do I look? Completely unprepared for whatever happens next. Why didn't they give Darcy her didn't she wear glasses and like a beanie? Yes. You do me. You do me and you do. Oh, you guys really are. Now that was an excellent fun. Oh no, what? We lost Foundrel for three days, found him in a barn, curled up next to a Guess maybe it is Thor. Isn't that right, Foundrel? I named him Gary. Yes, go Gary. Oh my god. Come on, girl. Keep your head in the game. <laughs> Planetary destruction and all. I, I think that's still Seth Green, but that's so funny to me, Darcy. And like, oh my God, and Howard on a date. That is just too much. And there's Topaz in the back. Oh my God, while the Grandmaster mixes. Oh. Got the Guardians and the Valkyrie. Wait, did they get married? Wait, 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 wait. No, we're rewinding that. Wow, Drax and... I think they got married. And they got tattoos. What is this? Are they just going to party the planet to death? What's going on? I'm still thinking it's Loki in the background. He's like following them and destroying planets after they leave from the party or trying to destroy them while they're on it does he have goats what's on him what were those animals what was those animals Might be your party, but this isn't your planet. Before someone gets hurt, I need... 
Oh, no way. Just on accident? Just on accident, they... Oh, just... Okay, they didn't kill him. They just knocked him out. I was wondering... Oh, they're gonna bring in Marvel. See, an MCU Marvel stronger than Thor, but it's only there. <laughs> wow, aren't those the um? God, I can't remember from Guardians of the Galaxy too. Oh, look, it's Big Loki. Of course, they're still rivals. I actually like this version of Loki. He looks pretty cool. Still a little small for a frost giant, which is accurate. Oh, they're actually friends. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, what is their bet? Brant, look at the fucking name on the map. Okay, this one's for Fury. That's a good one. Now for the rest of you. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it. In the comics, it's not really a fight. In the movies, I think they're gonna make it a fight and then have. Of course, he's just here to watch the mischief, man. He loves being. To be fair, she straight up started the fight. And <laughs> he knocked her into the next goddamn country. That's fucking hilarious. To Stonehenge. Oh yeah, you can't let Stonehenge fall over. Fucking shit up now. That's the thing people seem to forget is Thor is also a warrior with thousands of years of battle experience. It's one of the reasons why he wins the fight in the uh, comics, too. I love it, though, because he's just having tons of fun. Oh, guess that doesn't work on her. He might just make her go binary. Yeah, she gets charged up from energy. <sighs> Soft tropical music. This one's definitely, I feel like, a feel-good one. I feel like there's... Uh, a high stake hidden in the background, but like the main story is very like just fun. Get to watch Thor and uh, Captain Marvel fight. Oh, that's cool. This would that's pretty cool there. Look, the lighting colors are awesome. All the way around the world and back, and that's the end of the fight. Well, now he's just being a jerk. He's a bit of a jerk. As are they. He's a little jerkish. You said you were the best. That your punch was equal to ten new- If I exert my full powers, I blow a crater in this planet. Taking down Kappa Kappa Frat Freak won't be worth the fatalities. Ooh, what about South Dakota? I love that they address that, because that's a big deal with high-hitting characters uh, like Superman. Captain Marvel, uh, even up to like the Hulk, and definitely Thor. No, of course not. Even the baby goat Gary got home safely. Eventually. Eventually. I don't know why it's so funny. I love you. Wow, she's uh, quick on the jump. That's messed up. Oh, they are being a little dangerous. Wait, Surtur? I can see how this could be a problem. Because they're definitely not keeping it under control. Some of them are more or less harmless, and once again, wouldn't be worth the casualties of fighting. Okay, that's just a poorly placed one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They're, they're definitely fucking shit up for sure. I like how they're in Australia for this. 
Oh no, he's gonna break the shit out of it. Oh, nope, there he goes. As far as I know, in the MCU, Thor doesn't need to breathe. Ooh, that was a nice one. <laughs> nice vibration Hi. later. You so, saw how it took a second? Uh, about Thor? Can I help you? Why do you insist on crushing my mellow? Oh, loosen up. Have fun. Smile a little. I like that this is basically a, a meta joke against her, too. She probably would be fine. Honestly, though, so so would Thor probably. Crown Prince of Asgard, only son of Odin, what are you doing? Mother! Mother? Am I coming here? And, my sweet son, I expect to see your full syllabus when I arrive. Now or never, Hill. Stand down. We're done here. I'm actually surprised. Get to fire the nukes. Hill is easily the most like the worst head of shield that ever existed in so many ways and one of them is that even more than fury she like jumps the f gun like she she is trying to be fury in the comics she is trying to be fury so hard that she does everything fury does to like the utmost extent right like she's just makes rash decisions way too often in the comics so it's interesting to see her played in this, like, a very well-balanced version of the two we've seen. My suggestion? Start in the corners, clean your way outward. Corners, corners, but... It's a sphere. But it's a sphere! Excuse me, ladies. Oh my god. But I must leave early. Again. I'm not joking. My mother is coming. It's music. That's where the music should stop and just... Whoop. Dude, and the messed up part is how fast that travel is. Is like it's but basically no time. My mother. Now I'm your brother from another mother. Remember? To me. Wow. My mother is coming. <laughs> That's how that should have. Like at all. She's really mad. I was gonna say that is the reaction I expect when they say Frigga is coming. Frigga is a badass, honestly, in the comics. Like. This one is such a comedy one, beyond all, like, this one has, there's nothing to go on about believability, right? Maybe for the fighting? I, the map thing is so silly. This is scrubbing like a madman. This one's killing me. Did you know that Midgard is the birthplace of the Snubby? <laughs> that's funny, that's, that's, that's a fun Mother, fact for MC. You doubt? She's gonna go check the world. Look okay. At all this learning, huh? Oh no, she's gonna come snitch. Thor, here's the information you requested on human civilization. Oh wow, what? I a few documentaries, PBS specials, NPR podcasts. <laughs> Almost forgot. <laughs> uh, mother, I can explain. Of course the hammer somehow got trashed while he was gone. That hammer, by the way, was hilarious. Hi. Yeah, before you answer, let me say that I know a whole planet full of unicorns. Even the waiters are unicorns. It's, it's wonderful. Delightful. Pick me up at eight. Even the waiters are unicorns. This one is absolutely a nonsense comedy episode, but that's what it's supposed to be, so I'm 100% I'm letting so many things slide on, like, believability. Because there were so many unbelievable things of people partying on the, like, Surtur, and, and oh my god. Together, they lived happily ever after. Wait, what? Huh? I was about to say, it can't be that. Oh, shit, is that Ultron? Holy shit, that's Ultron with the Infinity Stones and it. it almost looked like he had Doctor Strange's cloak. But that's a vision inside! Ah! What the f- was that? Holy f- What the fuck? You can't do that. You cannot do that. That's bullshit. That's... You can't do that. You can't fucking do that. That's bull crap. That is bull crap. To drop something like that with only 
two episodes to go for one. We've only got episode eight and episode nine to finish off whatever that is. Or like no more seasons, but and then to do the feel good episode right because we had a bunch of basically really dark episodes where either the villains win or the heroes lose a lot right um going straight from like the death of the avengers to uh you have zombies you had uh killmonger wins you know what i mean and then uh to, you went into this which was absolutely a feel-good story to make you have fun and feel good right like there were somewhat stakes with the whole nuking thing although i'm still of the opinion that both of those two should be able to survive a nuke not sure about in the mcu but i know for a fact uh at least i'm pretty sure that uh captain marvel has been hit with a nuke so it's not really a thing for her and once again she absorbs energy it's just not the that's not the way to take out captain marvel but uh other than that there's just nothing in here that you can you want to take too seriously right you don't want to take the fact that Surtur and them are there too seriously because the episode's not serious i'd actually almost be more irritated if they did take it too seriously because it would detract from the ridiculous plot which is the point of this which is i think they did play a lot of characters well i think captain marvel was played well to come in and be like all right i'm gonna be the very strict kind of authoritarian which is interesting for me because I feel like uh, she has kind of two modes so far we've seen in the MCU, which is that that mode, which is very strict, military almost kind of like you're going to do what I say and uh, we follow orders, etc. Kind of like and then there's also the kind of more playful side. You almost see it in like the uh, endgame when she's talking to Peter or when she talks with Fury, right? And she's just like, yeah, you know, this so it was interesting to see them choose i think the correct personalities i love seeing maria hill be a little closer to maria hill in the comics and and yeah she is way way like darker in the comics in my opinion than she's been betrayed granted she hasn't had a lot of spotlight in the new one but still with that said i don't want to spend the whole episode harping on this right uh, another 10 minutes we could talk if you want to come and chat with me about the episode hit the comments below check out the discord in the link below or you know just find me on the street randomly and say hi and uh if you enjoyed watching you know what i mean consider becoming a patron for our patrons they get access to this up to you know a week early not these ones unfortunately because i do these day of day but they do get full video and full audio of none of the cuts i have to do and all the overlays i do for youtube right they just get what they get and so it should be a fun time if you want to come join us for as little as a dollar you get a bunch of episodes like that big shout out to everyone who's just watching on youtube and has no plans to go to patreon because i appreciate the hell out of you guys too i i uh i'd love some advice on how to do better so if you want to give me some advice i'll always appreciate it and finally support the original content creator because without them we don't get these amazing episodes and i think that's going to be it for me guys we'll catch you next time on reactions with the next marvel's what if